I very much had uh, a lovely month, a lovely month of really feeling fully into 2020 and also just trying out some new fragrances and going back to some of the fragrances that I've loved. So I thought this could be a regular, a regular sort of series where I look back at the month and I tell you the fragrances that have really made it the month that was. Not a catchy title, but we'll work it out. So there's four that I've kind of been keeping on my fragrance podium at home that I've been constantly reaching for. And the first one has been so much, so much worn. I've just gone wild for this. And this is Frederick Marle French Lover, you can see. I actually thought this was a sample. I got it in the Liberty London advent calendar. I loved it, had a spritz of it, and I thought it was amazing. Frederick Marle is one of the brands that I said that I really wanted to get into in 2020. And I feel like I've made a good start on this. Now, French Lovers by Pierre Boudin. Um, this, what I think makes it different from everything else is that there's this really sort of cooling spiciness to it. It feels really masculine. There's a, a slight darkness to it, but great performance. In terms of what they say on notes, really the key notes in this are pimento, which is a type of pepper, there's angelica, which has got this sort of herbaceous sort of quality to it, and then juniper, which for me is all about the sort of gin. Then into sort of the more base and really what's left on the skin, there's vetiver, patchouli, and frankincense. Um, they've also said that this really is for the guy that doesn't normally wear fragrance. And I would agree, but it, it's a guy who knows what he wants, and it's a guy that knows what fragrances should really smell like. This is not your sort of introductory sort of fragrance. It's not that easy to wear but it's a signature scent. So well done, Frederick Mal. I very much enjoyed you and very much got through you. So maybe it's a 50 mil or a 100 mil for me next. My second one that I have rediscovered a love for is Roaring Radcliffe by Penhaligans. Now this is part of their portraits collection, which always has these sort of animal heads. Very decorative, beautiful in its bottle and one which I really have gone wild for. Um, I'm gonna use my little spraying strips, which I forgot to do last time. I'm gonna do it on this. I love this because it's sweet, but it's smoky. There's tobacco in this, there's rum, and there's gingerbread. What I particularly like about this is that I think it has the sweetness of something which is just super premium. It's not gourmand in the sense that it's overly sweet or overly sparkly, but it's got a deepness to it, which I absolutely love. It's the kind of thing you want to, and I said this on manfromself.com, it's the kind of thing that you want to put a sort of smoking jacket on and sit next to a fire. I don't have a smoking jacket and I don't have a fire, but if I did, I'd be all over this. Um, and I know that, I actually met with Penhaligans last week, and I know that they've got their 150th birthday coming up this year, and they've got quite a few launches, which I've got my beak into, and some of them are seriously quite different from these ones, and I think, what well, I definitely am gonna cover on here because I think they're really interesting. Um, okay, right, another one which I have rediscovered my love for is Tom Ford Oud Wood Intense. This is about roughly like 200, 220, 220 pounds versus the sort of 160 of the original Oud Wood. Um, I stopped wearing this because, <laughs> we've all had this, you either date or you're friends with someone and then you suddenly aren't and they wear that fragrance, yeah. That was Tom Ford Oud Wood for me, but years have passed now and I'm back on this and I have rediscovered my love for this. And um, with the classic Oud Wood, there's tonka, there's vanilla, so it's got a slight sweetness to it in terms of an Oud. You've still got that sort of sparkle of the Oud. But with this one, this is more about the spice and it's actually cooler. And I think it's actually, I mean, it smells more, it's strange to say that a fragrance smells more premium, but I think sort of stripping out some of the sweetness actually does make it smell a bit more premium. And also, its performance lasts longer. This is smokier and woodier. And I've really loved this, and it's the kind of thing that I spray in the morning and I'm reminded of it in the afternoon, so really it does last. And it's, it really packs a punch in, in terms of kind of what people are smelling on you. It's, it is so great. And I think if you love the Oud Wood, you want an upgrade, then the Intensis should certainly, Intensis? The Intense should certainly be on your list. Really, really great. Um, and actually, again, another one which I've almost finished. Right, final one. Um, it's a bit of a cheat on this because it really came into my life later in the month, but one that I really have been going big on. And this is Large Sam Parfumer. 
Um, Large Tom Perfume are a French fragrance brand and they're a niche brand, but really sort of the more they are sort of being known, the bigger they're becoming, so less niche. But I love this as a brand. There's fragrances like Noir Equi, and there's also Mur Musque, uh, Mur et Musque, Mur et Musque Extreme, there's Food to Absinthe. They create fragrances that I think are so different from everything else out there. I think as a perfume house, they are very much sort of pushing um, the boundaries and really pushing it in terms of creativity. But this one, Patchouli Patch, is big on the patchouli, as you'd expect, so it's got these really sort of earthy tones. I think there's a similarity in this one to Food to Absinthe. And the sort of key things in this are oak moss, patchouli, as you'd expect, and plum. Um, so there is a, a roundness and a sweetness to it, but it really is that patchouli which you can really smell. And it's that's the kind of thing that's left on the base and the dry down. I love, and I should say, I love Lars Saint Perfume. So when I discover sort of a new one of these, I go wild for it. And I do know there is a new vanilla one. Um, I think I'm allowed to say, I, I, again, I went in and met with them and, I, and I, I smelled things. So if I'm releasing something I shouldn't, then apologies, but there you go. And it smells amazing. So as soon as I can get my hands and my beak onto it, I'll be showing you. And already we're into a new month and I have been trying new fragrances and sort of retrying fragrances that I love. So we're gonna have a new list coming up next month. That will be episode two. Let's see if I can keep this one going. Um, but thank you very much for watching. If you like fragrances, head to manfromself.com. We have so many fragrance reviews and also some reviews from you guys. So you can check out what else you guys think and you can leave your own reviews and star ratings and all that good stuff. That will be on screen. Also the subscribe button, press subscribe if you've not already done so. And also the cards up there, has my Instagram and some more video suggestions. But I'll see you in my next new one. Bye-bye.